Hi and welcome to ADSR Pro with me Mike Smith uh, going to do another quick tutorial in Cubase 7.5 and we're going to do um, basically just like an old vinyl record uh, turn off where you turn the power off and the record would slow down and possibly like a backspin uh, ideal for putting that little sort of live-ish element within your tracks so let's get started uh, I've got a basic loop here uh, within Cubase nothing exciting so basically to do the uh, vinyl slowdown effect if we highlight the audio go to audio process pitch shift and if we click on envelope as opposed to the transpose uh, I've put the range to 16 semitones and what I've done you can basically alter the the control here so we're just going to go 16 semitones do a, a, a continuous line slow down click process take a little time you can see there now it's made it a little bit longer so if we play that back and there you go it's as simple as that that creates the old um, vinyl record stopping effect obviously you can do that to your whole track once you've bounced it down at the end as if yeah as if you've just turned the deck off and it's slowed down or you can use it as an effect within your track so let's just go back to the original loop what I'm gonna do now is just copy that across out of the way uh, and in this one what we will do is First of all, we'll go to audio process time stretch and I'm going to double the speed of it. So I know the original tempo is 135, so I've doubled it here to 270. Click process, new version, and there we go. So now we've just got a real fast. What we're going to do now is again audio process reverse. So let's have a quick listen to that. It's like a spin back there but also what we're going to do is again audio process uh, pitch shift and we'll do the same again 16 semitones process now what we'll do we'll just move that out of the way put the original one there and we'll just take off let's go to about let's go to about there And I'm going to time stretch this one in. Click size and applies time stretch. Let's see how that sounds. So there you go. That's uh, just like a, a spin back on the turntable platter. Um, and that's it, a couple of quick effects uh, trying to incorporate um, a live-ish feel into maybe drum loops or your tracks um, ideal for just creating that something a little bit different within your track so hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you've got any questions then get in touch and I shall answer as soon as I can till next time, bye bye